All right, hey, so in this video, I'm gonna be tackling the problem that almost all coding beginners have when they're trying to get a job, and that is getting real world coding experience. And so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about four ways that you can get real world coding experience and projects that you can actually have on your portfolio to, to be able to talk about during your job search and to be able to put on your resume as well. So if you don't know, my name is TJ, and I'm a self-taught software engineer that teaches beginners like yourself how to code and helps them to prepare for the job search. Now, all of the opportunities that I'm gonna mention in this video are gonna be in the description below. So, you know, if you miss a link or some resource that I'm talking about, you can just check the description below and you see everything there. All right, so let's go. All right, so the first way that you can get real world job experience is by applying to apprenticeship programs. So apprenticeships. Like that is the primary way that you can actually try to get real world experience because companies put on apprenticeship programs, which are kind of like internships, right? That like actually provide on the job training for coding beginners. Now, the main problem is that apprenticeship programs, the actual application process is, is not open all year round, right? Like at times, the uh, application is typically open for like a month to a month and a half, and then it closes down for the rest of the year. So if you don't know about the actual apprenticeship program, then you might miss it, all right? But to help you with that, I've put together a list of 30 apprenticeship programs that have applications open throughout the year, right? So if you wanna grab that, just make sure to check the description below and you'll be able to get that list of 30 apprenticeship programs. All right, so apprenticeships is the number one way that you can get real world coding experience because essentially it is on the job training. And if you do really well and you make a good impression on the managers on the team working with you on your teams, there is a good opportunity that you might be offered a full time job when it comes to an apprenticeship. And also keep in mind, a lot of apprenticeships are paid. I mean, you know, some are non paid, but a lot are paid opportunities, right? So, you know, especially if you get into an apprenticeship program at a really big company like Microsoft, Airbnb, etc., Slack, something like that, they pay pretty well. They pay pretty well. All right. So, the first way that you can get coding experience is through an apprenticeship program. But now let's talk about the second way that you can get real world coding experience. And that is through a nonprofit called catchafire.org. Now catchafire is a nonprofit that, that lets companies post different tasks and projects that they need help with, right? And for you, if you are, you know, trying to be a, a software engineer, if you go to catchafire.org and you click on a dropdown for skills or um, category, you'll see web design web development, IT, information technology, uh, engineering, right? And that'll actually show you a list of tasks that you can take on to help a nonprofit that needs help with something that has to do with software development. All right, so catafire.org is a really good resource. If you don't get into an apprenticeship program, you still have nonprofit opportunities that you don't actually have to apply to either, right? So this is a lot less competitive because most people are not really applying to take on tasks to help nonprofits, right? So this is, this is a good opportunity for you to actually work on a real world project that is going to make an impact, right? I mean, these are nonprofits that you're working with. Now let's talk about the third way. The third way is through open source, right? So open source is like essentially software or, you know, companies that like put up tasks that they need help with by essentially allowing you to contribute directly to the code base on GitHub, right? Now, you know, essentially these companies have a list of tasks that they need volunteers to like actually work on. And all you have to do is basically pick a task, write the code for it, and then submit your code for review on the GitHub profile of that company, right? So like that's called a pull request. So once you do that, the main person maintaining the company's code will review the code that you're trying to submit. And if everything checks out, they will actually merge your code and your code will be deployed into production, right? Meaning that the code that you wrote will forever be a part of the history of that project, right? So 
by you contributing to um, open source, that is a good way that you can actually get real world experience as well. So don't pass up that opportunity because a lot of hiring managers are actually pretty impressed by beginners that take on open source projects, right? So that's something that you should really think about and at, at the very least check out. All right, so in the description below, I have two open source opportunities or not, not opportunities, but two links that you can go to and see a list of open source projects and the tasks that they need help with. And now let's talk about the fourth way that you can get real world coding experience. And that is through a website called Forage, right? I might be pronouncing that weird, but Forage, all right? So Forage does what's called job simulation. So this is where brand name companies, they come on this site and they like essentially create a simulation of a real life problem or task that they had to work on. So now for you, you can actually read through like the tasks of the simulation and submit your solution to it and actually compare your solution to the model solution that the company did in terms of how they solved the problem, right? And also Forge will actually provide opportunities to connect you with recruiters as well when it comes to you doing these job simulations. So, you know, just keep in mind, like these are job simulations. You don't actually get your code merged like you would with an open source project. And you are essentially turning in what your solution would be and getting the chance to, to now compare your solution to the model solution that the company recommended in terms of how they solved the problem. All right, and that's it. Like those are four ways that you can get real world coding experience as a coding beginner. The first way is through apprenticeship programs. And remember that I created a list of 30 apprenticeship programs in the description. So make sure that you grab that if that's something that you're, that you're interested in. So yeah, apprenticeship programs. Second way is through Catch a Fire, which is a nonprofit that, you know, nonprofit companies put up tasks that they need help with when it comes to, you know, software, web design, web dev, engineering work. The third way is through open source projects, right? And then the fourth way is through Forge job simulation. So again, all of these links are gonna be down below in the description. So make sure that you check that out. And also, you know, like this video and comment below to, to let me know if you find this video helpful.